are you excited to see the film come to life with audiences here? I mean, I imagine it's a, yeah. a labor excited of love. Yes, excited is a word, yes. Is you nervous know. another so word? I'm nervous. Fancy. Yeah, why wouldn't I be, I guess? I had a chance to see it before I disappear. I, I declined so that I could see it with a popcorn. Really? With an audience. We love our film. I mean, it's based on the, the short film called Curfew that won the Oscar last year. They sent me a copy of Curfew and I was blown away. You decided to go feature with that. When I made the short film, I didn't have any aspirations for a feature. And then after I made it, I felt like, oh, this would be fun to kind of extend it. Sean was writing the screenplay, and he didn't, uh, uh, there was never any talk of me being in the movie. I was just sort of helping as a producer uh, develop. I don't know. I feel like you subconsciously wrote this role for me, in a way. Mm -hmm. I came up with that character, Gideon, and I was like, well, this is just going to be Paul. Yeah. I actually didn't ask him. Yeah, you, just, told, you voluntold him. I decided you're, you're going to do this one. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's good. Four of viewers kind of set the stage for us, the story. Basically, this guy at the lowest point of his life that basically commits suicide. Uh, sounds awesome. It's not heavy. So it's not heavy at all. Right? Yeah, it's I don't know why movie. you're laughing, to be honest. But I'll because I'm twisted. <laughs> you know? okay. It's hard to explain it because, uh, but anyway, he gets a phone call from his sister uh, asking him to take care of his 11-year-old niece for the night, and he agrees. And so he cancels his plans and even that's it, the rest of Bolson from there and then it's kind of a wild journey it's throughout the night, one night babysitting his niece. Our relationship in the movie isn't a lot of fun because <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of a dark subject mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, but she does it so well. So revisiting the story from a short and then becoming featured, did it did it feel natural? What were maybe the challenges you didn't anticipate? I actually um, had the toughest time re- shooting the short film segments. It was really fun to kind of see the the scenes that were really exactly like they were in the short and then kind of flesh it out around that and to kind of build our mother-daughter relationship. And we're trying to capture the same energy. Well, we can't wait to see it come to life. Do you get to have any fun outside the festival while you're here? Kind of make some new memories in Austin? We will. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Have fun.